<laughs> Sorry, future editing dad. Celery, carrots, and hummus. The ultimate crunch lunch. Hi everyone, I thought it might be nice to share some recipes, so today I'm going to make some hummus. We've got one can of chickpeas, two tablespoons of tahini, one clove of garlic, and I know you might be thinking, well that's two, well we like our garlic. Um, here's some coriander, just a little bit. Three tablespoons of olive oil, but we're just going to do a little swish. Some black pepper, and a little bit of salt. Right, let's start with the method. First we're going to chop our garlic, so making sure it's in nice small little pieces. Must be careful of your fingers here because you must get them quite close. There's one done, and the next. Now I'm going to cut this one in half because it's slightly bigger to chop them and then go and make them really small. So now for the coriander. So you need to make it into a nice little bowl and chop it finely into pieces so you can keep the stalks in, it just adds to the flavour. And we're going to make it really nice and small. So now we're going to add all our ingredients into the blender. So, the chickpeas with the water as well. There they come. Two tablespoons of tahini. Mix it up a bit so it's get all of the good flavour. It's really sticking to the spoon, so I'll just add one more for luck. Let's put it, put all our garlic in. Oopsie, and some coriander. Now we need three tablespoons of olive oil. You can measure this, but I'm just going to do a bit of a swirl, the Italian style. There we go. And a little crack of salt. And some black pepper. So now we've got all our ingredients in here, so we need to remember to pulse. So if you hold it down, just go in quick pulse. So you can make it as smooth or crunchy as you like. So I'm just going to add a little bit more tahina because it's a little bit smooth for my liking, but this bit is optional. I'm just going to pop that in there. So now we've blended it all nicely, so we're going to put it into our bowl. So to top it off, a little swirl of olive oil and a little bit of paprika. So here is the finished product. 
I decided to take some of the bits of coriander that was on my board and to just to top it off. So the, here you have a quick and easy to make, very healthy hummus. Well, I think it's very good. Mm. Well done.